going on guys, Kaivox here, and if you guys have noticed, we're in a different, uh, different area right now. We're in a different side of the room, technically, and I've changed up a couple of things. As you can see, Mikachi got herself a bookcase, a nice bookcase, and that's what we're going to be going over today. Um, I'm going to just be giving you guys a quick kind of overview slash review of this bookcase. I did the math um, to see about how many books, roughly, kind of on on an estimate, uh, how many books we could fit on this, the entire bookshelf. And I got about 610-ish um, is the average. If you go with smaller, thinner books, obviously you're gonna fit a lot more. I kinda just did, did an average of a, kind of a big mess of some fatter books, some skinnier books. Roughly for the bigger shelves like this, it's about 25 books across. Um, and then the smaller one right here is about 11, 10 to 11 to 12, depending on how small. One of these entire shelves right here will hold about 175-ish. So total about six, what I say, 610-ish, which pretty good for about 500 and 450 bucks. But now let's talk about the, the main reason that people don't like Ikea, right? It doesn't last bad quality instructions are bad. So let's talk about the quality. The quality is nothing to be like super excited about. Looks wise though, it looks pretty good. Um, it is all particle board. There's no screws. It's all, there are actually a couple of screws to hold some of the fasteners together. But for the most part, it's all clip and traditional Ikea stuff. You know, traditional, if you guys have built in any Ikea furniture before, you know, you know what it is. Um, they don't last forever, that's true. I mean, we've only had ours for about a week now, but we're not expecting them to last for 10 years, even five years, most likely. Um, but the advantage of that is that you don't have to worry about it because if you want something to last 10, 20 years for a bookshelf, one, you really have to commit to that bookshelf, that bookcase, whatever. Uh, you really have to commit to it. If you, if you want something for 10 to 20 years, whatever. You're, you're gonna wanna be like, man, this is the perfect bookcase ever. I just paid $10,000 for it. When it comes to furniture, I tend to not want to waste slash spend a lot of money because to me, you're not gonna have that furniture forever or you may not be in that house forever or you may not want it in that room forever. You may wanna change things around. Um, the idea for this is to actually eventually fill up more of this room with those bookcases. So with this, it came with um, three of these and one of these. So allowing us to put the, this one in the middle at an angle. And then we also got the extensions for them, which gave us one extra bookcase shelf, I guess, one extra shelf on top and um, allowed it to come up to, I would say it's about like three inches off of the ceiling, coming down from the ceiling. So it's super close. Uh, we really couldn't go any higher without um, having any sort of problems. People always complain about Ikea like instructions and it's like, they're super easy. You don't even have to read anything. They're just pictures. <laughs> if you can't figure out Ikea instructions, I would say maybe put it down, go call your, your mom or your dad, have them help you. And if they can't help you, then return it because it's super easy. And if you can't figure it out, then you're probably gonna hurt yourself. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry to say, but uh, let's try something else. Pay somebody, five times the price to uh, build you a very nice bookshelf. I would say that the one downside to these shelves are that they recommend you screwing them into the wall um, at the top so that it keeps them from falling over, which 100% I, I recommend doing, but if it's not a permanent fixture in the house, you don't want to have to do that and ruin your wall. So, um, Right now, I basically just have them leaning up against the wall and I'm just hoping that I don't get crushed by them someday because that would truly suck. But that's the main issue that I found with them because if you look at everything else that people complain about them, it's all kind of, it, it all depends on your situation. What situation are you in? Are you looking for something permanent? Then don't spend $450 on a, a cheap bookshelf. Go spend a lot of money on a more expensive bookshelf. Problem solved. But if you are looking for something temporary, these shelves, A-okay. The other good thing about them is that these are very, very adjustable um, to the point where you can kind of put them in almost any orientation as you want. There are two shelves per case that cannot be moved, but you can actually equally space them all out. We recently got a different bookshelf from Ikea and it kind of sucked because it's a nicer bookcase, it's more expensive, 
but it didn't actually allow you to customize fully the depths of the shelves. So how high they are, how much space there is in between them. It kind of has some weird stuff where one of them has to be super skinny, so the other two are equal sizes. So it kind of it's kind of weird. These pretty nice where you can there's a lot of holes in the side, or you can adjust the shelves whatever way you want. I have them all equally spaced out right now, which I'm very happy with. I like the way it's set up. Um, it allows us to hold a lot of books, and hopefully, eventually, we're gonna have probably double this bookshelf in here. So another set of this with maybe one extra piece attached to it to kind of just give it a little bit more. But um, the plan is in the future is to make this into a full, like just lounge book library for Mikachi. Uh, so hopefully that happens someday, but that would involve me moving out and I, I'm not ready to move out yet. So the color that we chose, I believe was the um, the birch color, the lighter, the lighter birchy like color wood. Um, they had a darker one, which it was like a dark brown um, and it just didn't look good. It didn't, it looked very muted brown, like fake brown, uh, wood color, whatever. And it just, it, I wasn't feeling it. Um, the white and black always look good. Mikachi wanted to try something different because we already have a lot of white in this room. So what we did was uh, we went with the, the birchy color. So also, I just realized, don't mind the fact that the books are way messy right now and there's all of these are empty right here because she is going to be working on that hopefully this week sometime and we're going to be getting out a new video with um, her organizing her bookshelf and talking about it a little bit more. I thought about making like a build video, but it's just like, why? They're super easy to build and there's no point for me to show you how to build it because there's also a ton of videos already out there, but I haven't really seen any for telling you if, hey, should you buy this? And I say, yeah, you should buy it. If you need a bookcase, you need it to be cheap, you know it's not gonna last forever, that's a good alternative. Just don't go too crazy, don't put weights on there because it'll probably eventually bend the crap out of the, uh, the shelves themselves. So I say once they get old, just get rid of them and, uh, and then you'll be, you'll be okay, you'll be happy. So guys, thank you guys for watching. Um, this was kind of just a random review of these bookcases and uh, Again, I would recommend them. I definitely think that uh, it's it's a good idea. They're the Billy bookcases. I'm not gonna put a link anywhere because uh, there's no point for that. Just Google it. Just go to, go to Ikea if you have an Ikea around you. Um, personally, I like Ikea. So a lot of this room is Ikea furniture. So <laughs> it's just a good, cheap, cheap place to get furniture. And uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Again, if you guys want to see some more reviews of some random stuff, let me know down below. If this was helpful, let me know as well. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, bye, bye, bye.